how were you treated? When I arrived to Belgium, I, I was like any uh, normal uh, refugee. But uh, after the Paris bomb yes. by the GA and uh, behind the GA, the Algerian government, I had been arrested. So there was, a, there was an explosion in France. Yeah, explosion which in France. Was, after, yeah. Which was sponsored by the GIA and behind them, you're saying the Algerian yeah, government. Yeah, the Algerian government don't want opponents talking from France or from Belgium. And then I find myself in, in prison for, uh, for five months. And then after this, the judgment was, uh, was I was innocent. The Belgium government in this case, and later maybe the Swiss, were responding to pressure from the Algerian government. Yeah, sure, yeah. 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 I, I can give you an example for, for a Swiss government. Swiss government, when they deported me, to, they pay my trips. So they wanted you out of the way? Yeah, it's, it's normal to, to okay. get persecution because you are an opponent for the Algerian yeah. government and you uh, should expect, expect the, the worst. Yeah. yeah. This had been years that you had been under pressure from the various governments of the places that you were staying and mm. it must have been very difficult. Um, yeah, sure. You, you stir my, my pain I when you talk see. about yeah. this. Yeah. yeah, it was very difficult, especially when you... Um, you have uh, with your family with you, mm. watching by police and uh, interviews and yeah, a yeah. lot of media. Finally, you found yourself in Malaysia. Uh, the uh, Swiss government pay for my journey. I have enough money, more than today in New Zealand, yeah. uh, really, yeah. Uh, but the, the level of life is, is very low. But you couldn't stay in Malaysia either. Yeah, I couldn't. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so why come to New Zealand? You know, <laughs> <laughs> that's the, the main question from most of people of New Zealand. I mean, <laughs> people who try to understand my case: why you came to New Zealand? Why you, uh, why you got uh, a fake passport? Yeah. But people maybe they can't understand the state of uh, of necessity. State of necessity obliged you to do everything to save your life. Mm. I haven't any passport, I haven't any choice. Mm. And then I find New Zealand is far away from Algeria, and then this time I want to retire from... As far from, from Algeria as you can. Yeah, that's... Yeah. Yeah. I want to retire from uh, political life, to have a bit of rest, to look after my, myself, mm. to look after my kids, to, to gathering my... Uh, my you, you know, when we, we are, we were in, in Malaysia or other country, when we see the police, we get scared. Yeah. Till we came here to New Zealand, now just um, sometime we talk about with my kids and my wife, and that's we have now a peaceful life. When we see the police, we can't scare from <laughs> them. But we used to want to see the, the yeah. police, we, we scare. Yeah. So after all this, you finally arrived in New Zealand and suddenly found yourself in solitary confinement in Paremorewa. You, you must have been devastated. No. Um, I always uh, expected the worst. Mm. That's my, maybe my uh, heritage that I used to see my dad. He used to, to cope with, the, with problems. My dad, when he got angry, he go to sleep. And I found myself in prison sleeping. Huh? <laughs> OK. Yeah, I think, I think it's a, a prison, it's a stage. It's a stage of life it's a, for, for me. Mm. I'm not saying prison is good. Prison always is bad. But uh, prison also was a stage for me to, to clean myself, uh. to look at myself, to think about what's happening in the, in the world, to be a philosopher. Uh, okay. Prison is a stage, let me meet good people like you and others, and people recognize your uh, struggle. When I was in prison, I uh, always crying. Maybe some people, they say that the crying, it's like a, a weakness. Yeah. But it's not. Through the, the, the crying, you, you clean yourself. Mm. And uh, I wrote a poem about crying, and they say, if the world, all, all the world, they cry, cry our life will be, uh, will be fine, will be uh, mm. good. Mm. That's because our politicians, they don't cry. They put you in prison, they don't care about you. While you're in prison, you, you wrote poems. Why did you do that? Pounds is uh, a way to, uh, to breathe. It's like a window. 
I haven't this time in any windows. Even I, I draw a moon and a sun in my room because room. I stayed more than one year, didn't see the, the sun and didn't see the moon. Uh, poetry is a way to, to express myself, to express my pain. Until Yusuf comes onto the stage, prison has not only turned me into a small child, but into a spoiled lover as well. Because I am always waiting. I'm like a child waiting for his father to come back, and like a lover who waits impatiently for his beloved. It's a painful story. Uh, one day Yusuf uh, called me through the phone. This is, this is your son? Yeah. Called me on the phone and, uh, and asked me, uh, why dad you didn't come? Uh, and I said to him, I can't because I'm working and uh, something like this. And uh, there, there was uh, a fellow inmate called uh, Josh. He is a good guy. He involved with uh, some, some gang. And this guy is a very good man. And I asked him to talk to my son, Yusuf. And my son, Yusuf, he understands just a bit of English because... And then I said to him, he's my boss. And then he talked to him. He said, he will come back to you one day or some kind of thing, something like this. That, that's that's keep me happy and keep me... Uh, the strong. The hope of that reuniting, being reunited yeah, with your family. Yeah, to my, my family. Yeah, the, the, the hope, it's, uh, it's my motto, my motto in, mm. in, in prison. As for you, Yusuf, I am full of prize for you. Your acting triumph was related to me. As you wait in the wings, your performance is already better than that of the finest actor in the world. I try always to evaluate this, this time and try to make sense for my life. Don't say it's black, just black. One of them I know is called, you know, what is the Algerian for rugby? <laughs> <laughs> it's what's, funny. What's that about? Uh, it's funny because uh, most of people I meet them in prison when they allowed me to mingle, when they shift me to... Uh, uh, Mount Eden prison. Mm. All people, they're asking, where are you from? Where are you from? Algeria. Nigeria? No, I said Algeria. Is it near Iraq? Smiling. No. Is it near Afghanistan? No. My fellow inmate asked me, are you, d d did you meet, meet uh, Saddam Hussein? Have you been with uh, Bin Laden? <laughs> All these questions. <laughs> All the same questions. I'm bored with these with these questions, <laughs> and I they're tired to do to do like a piece of uh, uh, poetry on it. When you were in prison, did your faith waver? Faith for me is like like waves. Sometimes very strong. Very strong sometimes, sometimes yeah. That's, yeah. That's, that's, that's a human being. Yeah. That's a human being. I'm, I remember when I was in prison, uh, when they allowed me to, uh, to mingle with uh, the prisoners through the gate, and someone said to me, are you blinding your uh, God? I start to smile. Are you, are you <laughs> blaming your God? Are you blaming your God? Yeah. I said I have been, I never been blaming my God. I'm blaming myself. If I'm blaming, I'm blaming myself. I can't judge my God. 